Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is my first ever blogger mail unboxing video. I'm not gonna say that this has all been sent in one go, this has accumulated over the past couple of months. This of course isn't bragging, I genuinely love watching these videos because I love hearing about new launches and um, any new collaborations that brands are doing. I just love that, I love finding out about new things coming out because I am such an avid beauty skincare lover so I just generally love hearing about new things and then proceeding to go out and spend all my money on those things. <laughs> I would just like to say a huge big thank you to any of the brands that I mention. I can't take any of this for granted because like I'm sitting here with this little pile in front of me and some of the stuff is just kind of blows my mind that I've been sent that and that someone, want some brand or PR would want to send it to me, like just blows my mind. If you're new I would love you to hang around and see what I get up to. If I've written about any of these I will put links down below um, and I hope you enjoy this video. Also as well this isn't everything that I've been sent in the past couple of months because I actually have some stuff in storage that I have either used already or I know I want to put away for um, another time. The first brand I'm going to talk about is Lola Makeup. They sent through a variety of different products but I'll show you the first one because this was I think their newest release. So this this is their Rose Gold Lacquer Lip Gloss. So as you can see, it has got a hell of a lot of sparkles. However, this is so nice during the day. I think if you layered it over a lipstick, maybe like this one or another nude lipstick, it would be a really nice in your face gloss. Um, but on its own, it's really nice. It's got a subtle bit of color. It's got a nice bit of sparkle, but not too much. It's just really, really nice to wear. Again, it's been on my handbag and I've been using it a lot. Basically three out of the four products from Lola I've been, have been in my makeup bag pretty much. So the second one, which is also what I'm wearing on my eyes, is their Duo Kajal and Liquid Eyeliner Set. So on one end you have the Kajal Eyeliner, which is, you get a lot of product from that. And this is a, it's a really nice Kajal Eyeliner, like you, you get a lot of pigmentation from it. And then you've got the uh, liquid liner, which is a really nice pointy one. So you can go either really thin or really thick. And I've actually been, I actually think I prefer this to the L'Oreal Super Liner, which I bought. And then also on my brows, we have their brow pencil in dark number three. Now dark number three is actually not that dark. So I don't know what the rest of their shade range is like. So if you have got darker skin, I don't know you know, whether they've got the shade range, that's something you may have to check out. But this is a really nice one if you are not too heavy handed with this. You just blend it out with the little brush that you've got on the lid and it, um, yeah, it's the staying power is actually really good. It actually rivals my Benefit Cabral and that's saying something. Then we have a lipstick, which I think might be a little bit too garish for me, but I'm definitely gonna try it. It is this purple shade in what's it called? In Purple Rock. So it's quite dark. I do like a dark berry lipstick, but I don't know if this is going to be too dark for me. I don't really know. I've been humming and hiring and I'm going to wait until I get like an evening event because it's, yeah, it's quite dark. But if I do like it, I'll be definitely saving this for autumn, winter. Then we have some stuff from Urban Vida, which is a brand that I've discovered in the past year and really, really liked. I've enjoyed their cleansers and their moisturizers. They have this like a uh, test which kind of tests your, I can't remember what, I think it's called DOA, it tests your DOA which is kind of like your body state and so you do this little test and they ask you questions about kind of what your skin's like, whether you get quite warm or cold, your diet, things like that and then it matches you with one of their skincare ranges and so I was matched with the Pitta range which is supposed to be quite a fiery <laughs> person so someone who is quite warm um, to the to the touch like if your body's warm and also if you have sensitive skin that's prone to eczema and irritation which is me down to a T. They sent through the some products from their sandalwood and botanics range the smell of this is amazing they're totally right with how they also match you like with the scent and this is me down to a T. It just smells amazing. So this is their Soothing Body Scrub, which is really nice. It's been my new body scrub, really like it. My body feels really nice and calm afterwards. And then they also sent through two little samples 
of their daily soothing facial wash and their soothing exfoliating facial polish. Again, these two are really nice. The exfoliating polish doesn't have any beads in it, so it's a chemical exfoliator. Then we have two things that came through the post and I kind of just stood there looking at them <laughs> for a good five minutes because I couldn't actually believe that I had been sent these. And I still kind of can't believe that I've been sent these. So I was very kindly sent two perfumes through. I'm not talking about sample. They said I will send you some samples through. And I thought I'd get the little samples. But no, I got two big samples. <laughs> it still blows my mind. This industry it blows my mind. This is the Paco Rabanne Olympia Aqua Scent. And I have been a huge fan of the original Olympia scent. This one is probably one of my new favourite perfumes. It's just, it's quite sweet, but it also has those subtle undertones that are a little bit kind of woody and just really, really nice. I'm not very good at describing scents, but this one is just so nice. So if you like the Olympia scent and you want to try something that's kind of similar, this is really, really nice. And then this one, which is really cool because I've been seeing it everywhere. This is the Carolina Herrera scent called Good Girl. And as you can see, the bottle is really rather awesome and you spray it like this and it comes out here so you kind of spray it like that. This is a a scent that I kind of keep for evenings because it is a little bit more, how can I describe it? It's a little bit more darker and a little bit more musky in scent but I have worn it during the day like if I've gone out to London and both of these by the way they last so so well. So I still can't believe that I have these I feel very lucky and but I'm a, such a big fan already of Paco Rabanne and I've become such a huge fan of Carolina Herrera that you know it is just it worked out very nicely. <laughs> the next one as well is a brand I didn't expect to be working with um yeah so I'm just gonna go and talk and it's with It Cosmetics. I have always loved and wanted their CC cream. Whenever I've been in a like Sephora or something like that, I have been like trying it on. I've just been like, oh, it's just so nice. And then they very kindly sent through their CC cream. I got the shade medium, which is perfect for me when I have a little bit of a tan. Actually, even now, it, now I'm a little bit paler. If I blend this really well, it kind of settles into the skin. and I don't look like I've got an orange face. That's the thing I love about this. You don't get any orange face with it whatsoever. Whatever kind of stage of tan you're at, unless you're like really pale, this shade medium just blends beautifully. It's also been really good because it has got serum in it as well. This has been working really well with my skin. And I've been finding that I've not been getting as many breakouts when I've been using it, which is really awesome. Along with that, they sent through their Bye Bye Under Eye concealer now the i think even though it says full coverage cc cream i think it's slightly a medium coverage but this is full coverage concealer if you do not want to see any under eye bags whatsoever this is your lifesaver oh my gosh i do find this is very thick and sometimes when i've got extra under my eyes it does catch on the dry skin however when i'm having a good skin day oh my goodness this helps so much i blend it in with my beauty blender I'm yet to try other methods of blending it in, but at the moment, it's going pretty well. It's also got skincare in it as well. It's got hyaluronic acid and things like that. So that's been really, really good. And then they sent through their Superhero Mascara. When I first started to use this, I was in a love-hate relationship with it because the wand isn't that big, but you get a hell of a lot of product on it. So it's not as bristly as some of the mascaras that I have. I wasn't really properly taking the mascara off the wand and I was ending up with gloopy eyelashes and I was freaking out. Since then I have invested in some spoolies <laughs> and I've been, I've I've come into a, a, a the relationship's now good <laughs> and it's a really nice mascara, it's long lasting, I don't get any fallout under my eyes even after a full day at work which is very impressive but it's just a mascara you just ha kind of have to work with and then the relationship is good. So we're going to move on to Leighton Denny which is a nail brand that I have loved again for a very long while and they have sent through two of their nail polishes and then two of their serums. So the first of all, I'm going to shake this just to get the colour nice. It's kind of gathered a little bit at the top. So this is a very spring shade called Kiss Me Quick. I don't know again whether it's a shade for me. I'm not a huge fan of like 
pinks but it's a really beautiful shade anyway and then this is a really lovely shade this is from their heritage collection and this is called pretty in plaid so this is a really nice shade it's like a brownie shade and then it's got some beautiful sparkles in it so again i think this is quite a nice kind of autumn shade but i'm going to try it out on my nails maybe nice for an evening so those are the two nail polishes and then they sent through their bio build serum which is a treatment for weak and peeling nails and then their hydroflex serum which is a treatment for dry and brittle nails now i started using this because i f this is for if your nails are dry and unflexible you know when you like ping your nail and it doesn't really ping doesn't really bend so i started using this and then now my nails have started to peel i don't know whether that's just been the weather or whether it's been this so i've now switched to this one to hopefully stop them peeling so again i'm gonna see how i get on with those because i do really enjoy using serums like that for my nails now we have some products from avon which is so exciting because it's like one of the first brands i ever used for skincare and beauty so they sent through some of their skincare which is from their a new perfect skin range so where should i start i'll start with the moisturizers so they sent through a day and night moisturizer so we've got their wake up cream day moisturizer with spf 25 and then we have their sleep cream. I've been using these day and night together as in these are the products I've been using on my face right now. The wake up one is slightly runnier in consistency but doesn't feel like sun cream which is good and then this is a really nice moisturizing night moisturizer that isn't too thick so these are, these are really good for spring I think and summer as well and the smell is so nice. I love the smell of this range. I can't describe it but it's kind of florally and slightly fruity but it's gorgeous it's lovely then we have their wide awake eye cream which is really interesting because it feels like there's silicone in this and i don't really know if there is <laughs> i've been using it and it hasn't really sunk in as much as i want it to but i don't know whether this is almost kind of like an eye primer as well i don't know i've only been using this like for a couple of days so i am going to be playing around with this a little bit more and then we have their instant blurring treatment which is a primer this is very similar to the Benefit Professional, but without the tint. So it's been really interesting because it has been blurring my pores, but not covering them. So whereas the Professional you can probably use by itself if you're having a really good skin day, this I would use with a CC cream, BB cream, foundation, whatever you're using. And then it works really well. And then we also have the Daily Skin Boosting Splash, which is a... Uh, toner that I normally use after I've used like a cream cleanser and um, it's just really nice and refreshing and you literally just splash it on. So I forgot to show you some nail polishes and lipsticks also from Avon. They were sat there and I completely forgot about them. We have the, these are from the new Mark range which is a new makeup range launched by Avon. So I've had some really amazing things about um, like the colour, pigmentation and things like that. So I'll show you the nail polishes first. Firstly we have this one which is in the shade what are you what shade are you perfect light which is probably my favorite it's almost like a creamy pinky shimmer shade which looks really nice almost slightly iridescent then we have this shade which is cosmic flash which is more of a pinky glitter shade and then we have this one which is the exposure oh what's this that what does it say exposure boost which is more of a purpley shade these are all a part of the gel shine range which is something that um my mum uses actually she uses the top coat and she says it's really really amazing so those are some really lovely colors and then lipstick wise we've got four lipsticks the packaging is so nice so we've got this shade which is chocolate treat which is a lovely brown shade very 90s and i've been really like intrigued by trying a brown shade of lipstick so that is really exciting to try. Then we have Heartbreaker, which is a very typical kind of berry tone shade for me, which is one that I love for autumn winter, which is so nice. Then we have this shade, which again is a bit, maybe a little bit too pink for me, I don't know. This is in Be Loud, it says it all in the name really, which is a very, again, a very bright, vibrant fuchsia pink. And then lastly, we have probably my favourite shade, I would say, out of all of them. This is called Extreme Mauve. And this is almost like a kind of deep pink, which is so nice. Almost bordering on red, but it's just so nice. So, yeah, those are the bits that I forgot. Right 
two more and then we're done. <laughs> I got sent some lovely products from Yardley, which is a brand that I've discovered in the past year again. And they just do such nice scents. Their scents are really, really yummy. And so they sent through some of their body products. So I have got the products from the April Violets range. So I have got a body scrub, a body lotion and a body wash. And then I've also got some bits from their English Bluebell range. I love the packaging and the smells are so nice and fresh. I would say this is a very good spring range, especially when it comes down to the body lotions because the body lotions aren't thick. They are really good when you need that bit of moisture, but you don't, you might be going out if it's like a summer's day and you don't want to be like it not sinking properly and you'd be like really sticky when you've got changed and stuff. So I think in general, scent wise, because the scents are really nice and um, consistency, this is a great spring summer range. Out of the two, I think I like the English Bluebell range. The smell, I mean, <laughs> the most. Um, it's just so nice. I used it today in the shower and it's just so nice. It's, it's very uplifting. They're just very fresh scents. Really nice, really enjoying using them. I'm yet to use the body scrubs, so I'll see how I get on with those. And then lastly, oh my God, this is gonna be so long. <laughs> lastly, I have some products from Balance Me and I've been using Balance Me for a little while and they sent through some of their pieces from their sensitive skin range. All of the uh, Balance Me stuff is either 99% or 100% natural. I think that's the majority of their products are. Anyway, so they sent through their Rose Otto Face Oil, which is 100% natural. And this is an antioxidant rich nut free face oil blended with exquisitely fragranced Rose Otto designed to calm, strengthen, plump and nourish the skin. This is really nice, it's not too oily, but I've been using this in the evening. I have been using the rose hip oil, but I've moved on to this to try this out in the evening. But it's not too oily, so you could probably use it in the morning as well. We then have the Hyaluronic Plumping Mist, which is 99% natural. And this is a super fine mist, which you just spray on after you've cleansed as like a toner, or you can apply this throughout the day. Really good if you're going on a flight, I think, because I think, is this under 100 millilitres? It's 30 millilitres, there you go. It's a perfect for putting in your hand luggage if you're going on a plane and your skin gets quite dry and dehydrated on planes. And then they popped in their Stella Balm, which is a little bit like Vaseline and Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, where it's a multi-purpose balm, so you can use this on your lips. I find this is a really, really hard balm. Like, it's not like one that you can easily get out. It's a really thick, hard consistency. So I feel like I'd have to, like, get a little pick and, like, get some out. So I've I've not tried this, I've used this like once to put on my lips just to try it out. But I feel this is one you need to kind of warm up in your skin. But again, gonna play around with it. That is it. Thank you so much if you've made it this far. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, do let me know if you've tried any of these products. Do comment down below and let me know. If you're still here, please subscribe. <laughs> and um, do hit that thumbs up button just so I know that you enjoyed it. That's me, that's it. Uh, thank you very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.